Okay, so we are here at Morimoto Asia. As you can see, there's some really pretty light fixtures hanging down. They almost resemble jellyfish, like you're under the ocean. And um, I'm starting out with, Rob's gonna have green tea. And um, I think we're gonna do the ribs and a California roll. And then we'll let you know what we get for dinner. It'd be really cool to eat on this second floor up there. I don't know how you get to do that. That would be very cool. This is Morimoto ribs. Definitely recommend it if you're going to try to get an appetizer. Well done. I think it was like $14 for three. For three? I thought they were really good. I enjoyed that. Very highly recommended on Pippin Hodge. It was very good. It was like one of the dim sum. It was a small plate, right? Small plate. Um, if you haven't tried it, you, you won't be disappointed. What was it? Orange chicken? Orange pork? Pork, pork that bao. Pork bao. 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 And you thought it got more flavorful as you ate? Yeah, it was a little plain to start, but then kind of, I was like, we do the second one, it was very well done. And it was like wrapped in like a sticky roll? Yes. Alright, and mine was the poke okay. salad. It was really good. The greens part of the salad had a lot of flavor. The meat on top was several different types of fish. Um, they are uh, cured or raw, undercooked fish, so if that bothers you, um, just know that. But it was really good and very flavorful. And having gone to Victorian Outworks last night and enjoying this meal as much as I did, that says a lot about the food here. So um, I would recommend Moriyamoto Asia. to go check out the upstairs of Morimoto Asia. We've got this really neat and lighted staircase. And when you come up here to the top of it, looks like there is a sushi bar right up here. And then over here, there's like a private lounge. I don't know if we can actually go up there. There's a really cool light fixture. And then here, Keep them off. 
Thunder what? The squash. Fine. <laughs> Alright, so they just uh, stopped all trains. So the Seven Doors Mine Train, we got to the last ride, I think. What did you get us for? 420 or what? 
like these two feet right here. Happy you finally made it to the DVC lab. This is our goal. <laughs> Mission accomplished. That's what it looks like in here. Very pretty. Kind of at the top of the pyramid. And they do check your DVC membership hardcore. You can't just even show me your number, you have to show me your card. Very serious. Inside the flying fish. The chef is right over there, and you're watching them work. Hey Rob, what are you gonna get, Rob? Well, everywhere we've been going has a what flag do flag, so I'm finally gonna try it. And then, what are you thinking about? Oh yeah, they have that hand smith where you can add pretty much scallop, shrimp, or lobster. And you're thinking about probably game time decision might have had a lobster or probably because if you let me just try a little bit of scallops, I might get a lobster. We've been in the rain, you can't tell. I am thinking about getting the I don't know how to pronounce this Hokkaido, Hokkaido scallop and um, grill, the grilled baby romaine. So we will let you know when they get here how they are. Rob got a three four, these are the wines. I won't be able to say these right, but Cuvée, Aurora, Rosé, Rainstorm, Silver Lining, and Barrymore. I like the Cuvée, Aurora, Rosé best. And then I got this, it's a cucumber. Um, I forget the name that comes after it, I'll ask. But um, it's not sweet at all, it's very um, straight and clean, and I like it. Got bread here, which has um, pieces of seaweed in it, and then we got ricotta cheese and pesto, and I believe he said it was what from Greece. So, very one of the unique bread bread. Yeah, you don't see that very often. All right, we got the charred romaine salad. I forgot to take a picture of it, but it was a really interesting presentation. There's um, two heads of romaine, and they're lightly charred on the outside. And there's some red onion and um, an ice cream sauce with it. And I would definitely recommend it. You get the same kind of salads over and over again, and this is something different. And I think both of us enjoyed it, right, Rob? You enjoyed it too. Filet with an enhancement of a lobster tail. It looks amazing. And here's my scallops. They look really good too. They're on a bed of grits and a corn sauce. So we will be back to let you know how we enjoy these. Uh, first reaction? Very good. Very good. The truffle sauce is amazing, isn't it? Yeah, the, the company is really making those things. All right, let me see you. Have a bite of this. I'm gonna pass this on to you. What, okay. what does he think of the steak? You don't need a lot of this. I thought this steak was really good, and then when you gave me a bite with the truffle sauce, I thought that um, made it extra special, it topped it off, it was very buttery and yummy, and um, I took a bite of my scallops and they were amazing too, I'm excited to try this lobster. The silverware, because it looked like fish scales, and he mentioned to me to look at the bar, that it looks like fish scales, if you can see that. And speaking of our waiter, I thought we had really good service here today, didn't you Rob? Good service. Everything was super quick. More of the action back in the kitchen. 